So you scribe to where you want to drill a hole and you're ready to center punch. So what a lot of people do is they line it up flat with their heads as close as possible and they try to match it up. The easier way is to keep it tilted and walk the center punch up to the hole. So you can see exactly where it's aligned. And then once it looks like it's right on there, you're going to tilt it up, grab your hammer, and you're going to punch it. Now if you haven't done this for a long time, you can give it a light little tap and just check and make sure that you punched it right in the center. If you feel comfortable with your accuracy and you don't have to readjust it, you can always sink the center punch right back into that hole you just punched and give it a harder whack. Now, if you felt comfortable the first time and you've done this a bunch of times before, you can just do one hard whack at the beginning. Depending on how hard the material is, you might want to give it three hard hits, but it's not that critical if you have to go back and hit it once more. Now when you go to hammer, you want to be sure that the center punch is as straight as possible and that the hammer hits dead vertical. Not hitting on an angle like this, not doing any swooping where the hammer is going to slide off or create any forces going this way. You want to make sure it hits dead down straight. Like that. Another thing that might help, if you're having trouble making as deep of an indent as you'd like to, is you can take a solid plate of steel, make sure it's flat, and sit it on top, like that. That way you're going to have less deflection in whatever platform your part is on, and it's going to result in a much larger hole. Like that.